on Mars, we see surfaces with very diverse ages. That's a big difference to Earth, where most of the surface that we see today is young. The reason is simple, because the older surfaces are continuously destroyed by plate tectonics. Mars is a one-plate planet, so the entire surface is composed of one individual plate. And as a consequence, we do not have mountain ranges such as the Alps or the Himalayas. It shows many morphological features that we know from Earth. We, for example, we have huge volcanoes, we have tectonic features, and we have dry river valleys. The only sign of geologic activity are dunes that are shifted around by the wind. The analysis of these surfaces tells us that Mars must have been much more intensive and the geological activity must have been uh, more heavily in the early days, more than three billion years ago. And since then, it has gradually declined until today. A particularly interesting tectonic feature on Mars are the Valles Marineris, a system of tectonic troughs which run along the equator in the Western Hemisphere. These troughs are up to 10 kilometers deep. And the spectacular images which we derived by our stereo camera show that the scarps of this canyon are composed of stacks of lava flows. We know that these lava flows, which give us insight into the volcanic evolution of Mars, were produced at the Tharsis Bulge, the hugest and largest volcano tectonic province in the entire solar system. They flowed down the slopes of Tharsis and then formed a huge plateau of flat basalts in the areas around Tharsis. Later, the Valles Marineris were cut into this plateau, and now we see on the walls of Valles Marineris these spectacular uh, lava sequences. The evolution of Mars uh, was quite different than that of Earth. The reason is the different size of the planetary body and, as a consequence, it's a much smaller mass. The mass is responsible for the heat production in the interior by radioactive decay. And since Mars is much smaller, there was less heat available after a certain amount of time. So the intensity on Mars declined after, let's say, one billion years. Uh, quite dramatically. The big question, if Mars is still active or not, is yet unanswered. We cannot tell because we have not seen so far any fresh lava flow which would have erupted from an active volcano. On the other hand, we cannot exclude that Mars still has enough internal activity that maybe tomorrow, maybe in one million years, maybe in 10 million years, we would see a new volcanic eruption on Mars.